Welcome to the Fallout Complete Story. If you could name your dog in Fallout 4, what would you pick? I've got a few ideas. Number 6. Dog Meat. This one's, well, obvious. What else would you want to call your dog if you're a true Fallout fan? Dog Meat is a dog companion in Fallout 1, 2, and 3. In Fallout 1, you can find Dog Meat tormenting Phil in Junk Town, and once you distract him, you recruit him into your team. In Fallout 2, you can find him in a special encounter, the Cafe of Broken Dreams. Lastly, in Fallout 3, Dogmeat is found avenging his previous owner from the raiders that killed him. Loyal to the end, he'll follow you all over. If you trigger his event and don't approach him, he'll wander off in the wasteland for you to find another time. That's tradition, guys. Let's keep it going. Number 5. Rex if we're considering dog meat because of tradition, then why don't we consider Rex, the cyber dog from New Vegas? He was born a regular dog and served the Denver City Police Department. Sometime before the Great War, he was cybernetically enhanced and turned into the cyber dog Rex. Rex is degrading due to his age, hates rats, and he also hates hats because it rhythms with rats. Wouldn't it work considering your dog cannot die in Fallout 4? Number four, there is a name on the tip of my tongue, one that I can't seem to say. It's a really simple name too, if only I could remember it. Oh, that's right, Gary. In the world of Fallout, cloning is a popular experiment, and in one horrific experiment, there were 54 clones of a man named Gary created. The original was cloned each time with it, growing more and more hostile to everyone that wasn't a Gary. Until finally, they killed the scientists making them. They didn't overrun their vault that quickly though, and the remaining clones were placed into storage so they could try again. Well, that failed obviously, and the clones ran through the vault killing everyone. The reason Gary would be a great name for your dog is that the Gary clones have developed a way to communicate entirely through saying Gary. Maybe our dog could do that. Number 3. Three Dog Guys, we could name our dog Three Dog in honor of Three Dog. He's the DJ radio host from the Galaxy News radio station in the capital wasteland. His family were members of a traveling theater group and Three Dog grew up listening to rock resenting the government. He is all about free speech and communal law. He then took a lot of jets and stumbled into the wasteland until he found an oasis and turned it into the Galaxy News Network. He believes he's fighting the good fight against the Raiders, Super Mutants, Talent Company, and the Enclave. And you know what? My dog could be named Three Dog in hopes of gaining these ideals. Number 2. Butch Butch would make a good name. I mean, it sounds like something you'd name your dog anyway. But in the world of Fallout, it was also the name of the bully in Vault 101. He grew up with the lone wanderer in Fallout 3, had an alcoholic mother, and no father figure. This caused him to become the bully of the vault, causing all kinds of problems for our hero. Yet, he secretly wanted to be a barber. He ran a gang known as the Tunnel Snakes in the vault and made arrangements with the Overseer to ensure that they were left to cause as much trouble as they wanted. So, if I name my dog Butch, maybe it gets some leadership abilities from Butch? And we might get a whole gang of dogs? On second thought. Lastly, we could always name the dog, Dog. This has been used as the name of a psychologically disturbed Nightkin. This Nightkin has two personalities, Dog and God. Dog's original job was to fetch new humans to be turned into super mutants. Eventually, Dog was picked up by Father Elijah that took advantage of his foolish nature by turning him into a slave for himself. But due to prolonged stealth boy use, he began to develop a second personality, God, the one trying to break free of his master. Wait a minute, maybe I shouldn't name my dog something that was trying to break free of its master. Alright guys, your turn now. Any suggestions? Let me know in the comments down below. As always, like, favorite, and subscribe for more content. Follow us on Twitter, at EligibleMonster, and I'll see you guys next time.